In a world filled with complex geopolitical conflicts, the relationship between the United States and Iran remains one of the most enigmatic and contentious. The tensions between the United States and Iran have remained a focal point of global concern for decades. This complex and ever-evolving relationship has far-reaching implications in the Middle East and on the world stage. Join us as we unravel the historical roots, the key players, and the current state of affairs in this ongoing saga. Historical Context Now, let's start by understanding the historical context. Picture this, two countries, thousands of miles apart, caught up in a web of political drama, oil, and historic grudges. How did it all begin? Iran was under the leadership of Prime Minister Mohammad Mossadegh. He sought to nationalize the Iranian oil industry, which was largely controlled by British-owned Anglo-Iranian oil company, later known as BP, and to a lesser extent by British oil companies. The British government, who were heavily reliant on Iranian oil, viewed Mossadegh's nationalization efforts as a threat to their interests and initially sought U.S. support to address the issue. The United States, fearing the spread of communism during the Cold War and desiring stability in the region, became concerned about the situation in Iran. The U.S. government, particularly the Central Intelligence Agency (CIA), collaborated with British intelligence to orchestrate a coup against Mossadegh. In August 1953, with CIA support, Mossadegh was ousted from power. The Shah of Iran, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, who had previously fled the country, was reinstated as the ruler with U.S. and British backing. This coup secured Western control over Iran's oil resources and strengthened the Shah's rule, which was autocratic and heavily supported by the United States. This event left a lasting impact on Iranian politics, leading to anti-American sentiments and the eventual Iranian Revolution of 1979. Iranian Revolution During Mohammad Reza Pahlavi's reign, also known as the Shah, Iran faced a prolonged period of political repression and autocracy, partly due to his close ties to the Western world. This discontent led to a transformative revolution characterized by protest led by a diverse group of opposition figures, including religious leaders, intellectuals, and students. The revolution was fueled by various grievances, including political, economic, and religious issues. Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, an exiled Shia cleric, became the spiritual leader of the revolutionary movement. His return to Iran in February 1979 revitalized the movement, and as protests escalated, the Shah fled the country in January 1979, leading to the collapse of the existing government. A transitional administration replaced it, reshaping Iran's political landscape. This revolution saw Islamic clerics rise to political power, fundamentally changing Iran into a theocratic state. Ayatollah Khomeini became the supreme leader, overseeing this transformation. After the revolution, Iran adopted anti-Western and anti-Israel policies, supporting various Islamist and revolutionary movements in the Middle East. This significantly altered the region's geopolitical dynamics, influencing international relations for decades. The Iran Hostage Crisis the Iran hostage crisis of 1979 was a defining moment in U.S.-Iran relations and a significant international incident. The crisis began on November 4, 1979, when Iranian militants, predominantly students and members of the Muslim student followers of the Imam's line, stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. 52 Americans, including embassy staff and diplomats, were taken hostage and held for 444 days. The militants demanded the extradition of the deposed Shah of Iran, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, who had been allowed into the United States for medical treatment. The hostage crisis captivated the world's attention, with the hostages frequently shown on television, blindfolded and paraded by their captors. It became a symbol of the animosity between Iran and the United States. The hostage crisis resulted in a complete breakdown of diplomatic relations between Iran and the United States. The U.S. severed ties with Iran, and diplomatic channels were closed. The United States imposed economic sanctions on Iran in response to the crisis. This marked the beginning of a pattern of sanctions and economic pressure against Iran that would persist for decades. The crisis came to an end on January 20, 1981, with the signing of the Algiers Accords. 
the hostages were released, and the United States agreed not to intervene in Iran's internal affairs or seek legal action against Iran in international courts. Additionally, the U.S. unfroze Iranian assets. Operation Eagle Claw Operation Eagle Claw, also known as Operation Evening Light, was a U.S. military operation undertaken in April 1980 with the goal of rescuing the American hostages held during the Iran hostage crisis. Operation Eagle Claw aimed to rescue the American hostages and bring them safely back to the United States. It involved a complex plan with multiple components. A team of U.S. Army Special Forces known as Delta Force was selected to carry out the rescue mission. They were tasked with infiltrating the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, neutralizing Iranian guards, and extracting the hostages. The operation was planned to take place at night, taking advantage of the cover of darkness. The mission faced numerous challenges, including mechanical failures, accidents, and unexpected difficulties with the helicopters. In a desert staging area known as Desert One, one of the helicopters collided with a transport plane during refueling, leading to a fire and loss of several aircraft. Unfortunately, eight American servicemen lost their lives during the operation. The failure of Operation Eagle Claw was a significant blow to the U.S. government, particularly to President Jimmy Carter. The mission's failure contributed to his declining popularity and was a factor in his re-election bid, which he ultimately lost to Ronald Reagan. The failed operation further exacerbated tensions between the United States and Iran. It was viewed as a violation of Iranian sovereignty and intensified the standoff between the two nations. Economic Sanctions Economic sanctions have proven to be a potent instrument employed by the United States to apply pressure on Iran. These sanctions, wielded with a heavy hand, have inflicted substantial damage upon Iran's economic landscape, exacerbating the already strained relations between the two nations. The repercussions of these punitive measures extend beyond the geopolitical realm, resonating within the very fabric of Iran's economy. The far-reaching impact of these sanctions has given rise to economic hardships for the Iranian populace, burdening them with the weight of diminished economic prospects and a diminished quality of life. The resultant strain on the social and economic well-being of the Iranian people has become an indelible element in the complex narrative of U.S.-Iran relations, further deepening the chasm of distrust that separates them. Geopolitical Factors Geopolitical factors assume a pivotal role in perpetuating the prevailing tension. The Middle East, a region fraught with protracted conflicts, serves as a crucible of strategic significance for both the United States and Iran. The Iranian government's active engagement in regional disputes, including its backing of entities such as Hezbollah, has acted as a catalyst for sowing the seeds of mistrust and animosity between the nations. The labyrinthine geopolitical landscape of the Middle East, riddled with historical rivalries and contemporary power struggles, creates an intricate backdrop for these tensions. The strategic interests of the United States and Iran converge and collide within this complex tapestry, adding layers of intricacy to their already multifaceted relationship. Iran's involvement in regional conflicts, particularly its support for groups like Hezbollah, has emerged as a contentious issue, fueling suspicion and animosity. These actions have not only heightened international concerns, but have also deepened the geopolitical complexities that underpin the enduring friction between these nations. Axes of Evil In his 2002 State of the Union address, President George W. Bush characterized Iran as a component of an axis of evil, which also included Iraq and North Korea. He asserted that Iran was actively pursuing weapons of mass destruction and sponsoring terrorism, while a select few unelected authorities stifled the aspirations of the Iranian people for freedom. In the aftermath of this speech, the Iranian government discontinued clandestine discussions with U.S. diplomats aimed at capturing al-Qaeda operatives and addressing the threat posed by the Taliban. This development introduced another layer of complexity and strain into the already intricate U.S.-Iran relations as rhetoric and actions on both sides heighten tensions. Iraq War Begins U.S. military forces launched an invasion of Iraq in March 2003 with the goal of neutralizing what Washington claimed to be Saddam Hussein's resurged weapons of mass destruction programs. 
During this period, Iran lent its support to local Shiite militias within Iraq, with some of these groups engaging in attacks against U.S. forces. The outcome of this intervention saw the downfall of Saddam's authoritarian regime, culminating in his execution in December. A 2019 study conducted by the U.S. Army on the Iraq War reached a significant conclusion, asserting that the only apparent victor emerging from the conflict was an emboldened and expansionist Iran. This assessment highlighted the intricate and far-reaching consequences of the Iraq War, particularly in shaping the regional power dynamics and further complicating U.S.-Iran relations. Nuclear Deal and Its Aftermath the JCPOA, signed in 2015, was a comprehensive agreement aimed at preventing Iran from developing nuclear weapons. In exchange for Iran's commitment to limit its nuclear activities and allow international inspections, the US and other world powers agreed to lift certain economic sanctions that had severely impacted Iran's economy. This marked a significant effort to address a long-standing issue that had raised concerns globally. However, the decision by the United States under the Trump administration to exit the JCPOA in 2018 brought about a dramatic shift in the diplomatic landscape. The U.S. expressed doubts about Iran's adherence to the agreement and opted to reimpose sanctions. This action not only strained the bilateral relationship, but also raised questions about the sustainability of international agreements and the role of sanctions in diplomacy. The aftermath of the U.S. withdrawal saw Iran gradually reducing its compliance with the JCPOA's provisions. This further exacerbated tensions and led to increased regional instability. Other signatory nations, including European countries, tried to salvage the deal and maintain economic ties with Iran despite U.S. sanctions, highlighting the intricate and delicate nature of international diplomacy. The eventual return of the United States to the JCPOA under a new administration marked another twist in the saga, with both sides engaging in negotiations to revive the agreement. Arms Embargo The United Nations Security Council, prompted by global concerns, had implemented an arms embargo on Iran, which had a substantial impact on its ability to acquire and trade conventional weapons. This embargo, initially a potent tool for control, experienced a temporary suspension in 2020 as part of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JCPOA, providing a glimmer of hope for diplomatic efforts. However, the winds of international relations shifted once more, leading to the reinstatement of the arms embargo in 2020. This decision added a fresh layer of complexity to the intricate fabric of global diplomacy, further complicating the multifaceted relationship between Iran and the international community. The reimposition of the arms embargo highlighted the ongoing tension and disagreement between Iran and many Western nations, particularly the United States. It reflected challenges in maintaining a delicate balance between diplomacy and security concerns in the region. The arms embargoes back and forth illustrated the dynamic nature of international relations and the complex interplay of political, economic, and security interests on the global stage. It was a vivid example of how the United Nations and its member states grappled with the evolving and often contentious issues surrounding Iran's role in the international community. Secondary Sanctions the United States has implemented secondary sanctions, a mechanism enabling it to penalize foreign individuals, corporations, and financial institutions involved in specific forms of commerce with Iran. The implications of this approach are profound as it acts as a deterrent for international entities considering engagements with Iran. The shadow of potential sanctions looms large, discouraging global actors from venturing into business dealings with the Iranian nation. This strategy, a prominent feature of U.S. foreign policy, weaves another layer of intricacy into the already complex narrative of international relations. The Middle East The Middle East assumes strategic importance due to its vast energy reserves, and the United States has consistently pursued safeguarding its interests in this region. This endeavor frequently involves forging alliances with various Middle Eastern nations, actions that can significantly influence Iran's perception of U.S. intentions in the area. The United States has long-standing security pacts with countries like Israel and Saudi Arabia, both of which have had strained relations with Iran. These alliances often spark friction between the USA and Iran, as their interests frequently collide. Furthermore, the United States has imposed economic sanctions on Iran, particularly following its withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal in 2018. These sanctions have inflicted a profound impact on Iran's economy and have emerged as a major source of tension in bilateral relations. 
The United States has also been embroiled in various Middle Eastern conflicts, such as the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. These involvements can sow seeds of distrust between Iran and the United States, especially when their interests intersect in these tumultuous theaters. The role of the United States in the Middle East and its regional policies significantly reverberate in its relations with Iran, as tensions and conflicts in the Middle East often cascade into the bilateral relationship between the two nations. So, here we are, two nations with a history filled with mistrust and conflict. The reasons behind the tensions between the United States and Iran are complex, from oil interest to political ideology and regional dynamics. Will there be a resolution in the future? Only time will tell. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more engaging insights on global affairs. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, stay curious.